So actually, I take that back. I do know perfectly well. There's a list put on the uh, website of uh, talks that people are asking to be given, and uh, one of them was Wikilaf Monuments, and I added a comment to say, yes, it would be jolly good if somebody talked about it. <laughs> and, uh, and then here I am, I'm not quite sure. Um, probably most of you know what, what Wikilaf Monuments is, but I'll just, I'll just go through it quickly for those who, who don't. As it says here, it's the, it's the world's largest photo contest. Uh, it's an international contest which has been running since uh, 2010. Um, and it has an international committee which then the, in, the individual countries uh, run their own contests. Uh, the winners of each contest submit photographs back to the international jury who then make uh, international awards. Now, the, it started in 2010 in uh, the Netherlands. It then went international the next year. And for reasons I'm not totally certain about, uh, the UK has not yet taken part in this. And I've always thought this is a bit of an embarrassment, really, because we're supposed to be, we've probably got one of the highest uh, concentrations of historic monuments in the world here. Um, and we've never taken part. Um, so I think we ought to be doing something. So hence, trying to get some people involved. Uh, last year, there were 34 different countries. Uh, this year, so far, 39 countries have indicated that they will probably be, be taking part. And I'm pretty determined that the UK should as well. So the plan is that it will be a volunteer-run volunteer-led effort with support from Wikimedia UK. What is it, essentially? The, each country um, sets up their own rules and defines what a monument is. And you, each country can define that in, in any way they like, but it must be something that has a unique identifier. So in the UK, there are lots of different um, particular types of things you might call monuments. And what we are going to be doing this year is, um, is, is uh, list of buildings. And the reason for choosing list of buildings as opposed to, to other things is that, first of all, we can get hold of all the data. We can get hold of the data. We've got hold of the data from English Heritage and the corresponding organizations in Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Um, that all then needs to be put onto Wikipedia. Members of the public are then asked to take photographs of all of those buildings, as many as they can, and upload them onto Commons using a modified version of the upload template. And they then link their upload to the individual uh, reference number, the official reference number given by the listing organization. Now, if you take the entirety of the list of buildings in the UK and all of those four countries, you get a very, very large number. So we're looking at, for this time, uh, simply the primary buildings, the most important ones. Now this, this site here is, is the international site that um, photographers would look at if they want to see the, the building, the, um, the competition to start with. Uh, a lot of work needs to be done on that by the International Committee. Then actually on, on Wiki, and this is on Commons, you, this is the international page on Commons showing you the countries that will be participating this year. I have actually added our name to this, so we've got to do it. And also we have now some interesting. So so we have a page to organize the UK um, competition. <laughs> uh, 
We may just start on the task. The, the International Committee has a lot of um, experience, and they have provided each of the individual national uh, organizers with a sort of generic list of things to, to be done. And this is how far we've got with the UK so far. Uh, we are a bit behind, but uh, we're not, not more behind than other countries, fortunately. We also have some more detailed pages of who is currently helping. We've got so far a, an initial steering committee of volunteers and staff members to try and push this forward. And we're going to need some more people to, to help, particularly on the technical side, which I'll, I'll just mention in a moment. We also have a list of We also have on Collins a specific list of individual tasks that we're doing. And volunteers are more than welcome to come along and look at look at some of these these tasks. Also set up so far is um, a FAQ for organisers. Not much on it yet, but there will be more. And a help desk for for organisers. I should mention what what why are we why are we doing this? What what's the point of it all? Well, it, this is not not simply for photographers. I mean, I've got in, into it really because I'm a photographer and I like. I, I think we ought to get some nice pictures on on, on uh, Wikimedia. But actually, it's a much broader thing. It's, a, it's actually a wonderful um, outreach opportunity and increases awareness throughout the entire community. It brings in types of potential editor, or at least uploader, who wouldn't normally be involved in, in our field at all, particularly older people who might be very involved in their local communities and their cultural heritage. Um, who wouldn't dream of coming along and editing Wikipedia. They may well be very, very knowledgeable about their interesting local buildings and be very, very willing to come along, take some photographs, go have a day out, go take some photographs and um, upload them or get somebody to, to help them with that. We know from uh, experience in other countries that it's been extremely popular. There's been a lot of good uh, feedback and publicity in, in the local press. It gives us very good contact with the listing organisations, English Heritage and, and so on. And last but not least, it's because it's been done for several years, there is a quite a well-defined structure to it and there is some, some, some international help. In terms of actually writing the British rules, the information for uh, photographers and so on, and actually getting people in, that's, that's not really a problem. I can do that with some, some other volunteers. But we will need more assistance, particularly on the technical side of things. Um, certainly that's not something I can handle. And I know there are other very clever people in the room. What we've got so far is we have the official lists from the listing organizations, English Heritage and so on, in structured, steep, um, comedy limited format. Those will need to be uploaded <coughs> to Wikipedia. There is stuff on Wikipedia already. Uh, a lot of this was done by Multichill a couple of years ago when, when there was a, a thought that the UK would get involved, but it in fact didn't happen. A lot of stuff on, on Wikipedia though is in, in wiki <coughs> table format, and that needs to be converted into proper template format so that it can be picked up by the, the bots that are used to grab that information and put it into the Wikilabs Monuments central database. Um, there will also be a lot of need for further uh, publicity and outreach, getting out to potential competitors um, throughout the country. And this, this really is throughout the country. Um, competition. 
the typical, typically the way it works is that uh, there are part, partner organizations who, who support and some organizations, one of which may be uh, Wikimedia UK, though I haven't asked them yet, uh, who come up with some, some prizes for various classes of um, you know, the best photograph or the best group of photographs. And then the top 10 photographs in the UK go forward to the international competition. And there is an international jury who will uh, choose the best uh, photographs there. The, the jury is, is, is always completely different from the organisers and we would look to be getting a professional jury, um, professional building recorders, for example, from English Heritage and so on. There, there are some very specialist, knowledgeable people there. Um, so the reason for talking about it now really is to say we've made a good start. Um, there is a lot more to do and we are looking for some additional help, particularly on the technical stuff. And there will be stuff to do all the way up until September when the competition starts. Um, for those who are interested in joining it, uh, photographs can be taken at any time. You can take a photograph now. Uh, it doesn't matter when a photograph was taken. So uh, competitors can trawl through their <coughs> lists of photos or holiday snaps or whatever. The only criterion is that the photograph must be of a listed building which is on the official list, one of the official lists, and you must upload it during the month of September. So, um, I think that's probably all I have to say, and I'm, I'm not going to waffle on too long, and perhaps just uh, talk, talk and uh, ask, for, ask for any questions. Yes, there's any, a couple of brief questions. Start at the front. Yeah, well, one simple technical question. What sort of camera is recommended for the sort of quality you might be looking for? In, anything at all. I, mean, I think a lot of photographs will in fact be taken by smartphones. Mm -hmm. And it's quite probable that there will be um, an upload via the mobile system, which goes through this. So, you, so you're on your, your, your mobile. There is a mechanism for you to look at a map which goes off to, say, the English Heritage site, which already has a nice map, and you can scroll around, pick the monument, pick the thing you're looking at, that will give you the number, take a picture, and it will upload it. So it will choose for you, um, it, it'll do all the linking for you, you might need to give a name if you want to, but it will uh, include the license and all such like stuff. Ideally, um, I'd like some higher quality photographs. I know. It um, is also possible for the app in that's the plan anyway, to for you to tell it I've taken a photo of this building and to save all the information so when you get home you can have the list of buildings you can photo of and match it with your high quality camera so that you don't have to type everything in by hand, so you've got a record of it on your phone for you to um, combine together before you upload it. Ultimately, um it's going to be partly a numbers game. Um, some of the contestants will come along and they'll just take some random snaps, which is might be useful for some things, but uh, it's, it's much nicer if we've got some proper stuff. <laughs>